Conservationists voted today March 11 to regulate the international trade of five species of sharks that are threatened by overfishing and targeted for their valuable fins. Oceanic white tip sharks, poor beagle sharks, scalloped hammerheads, great hammerheads, and smooth hammerheads, as well as two species of manta rays, are all set to get new protections after today's votes at the meeting of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora Sites. In Bangkok, if the proposals are upheld at a plenary session later this week, all seven animals will be listed under Appendix II of the Sites Treaty which includes species that may become threatened with extinction if they are traded unsustainably. So far, basking sharks and great white sharks are the only species of elap smoke branch of family that includes sharks, rays, and skates listed on Appendix II. Sharks are harvested for their meat, liver oil and cartilage, but their fins are their most valuable parts. They are kept off, often from live animals, to be used in shark fin soup, an ancient and prized delicacy in East Asia. According to the World Wildlife Fund, a shark's fin can sell for up to $135 kilograms in Hong Kong. Sharks are apex predators that help balance ecosystems in the world's oceans, and they have slow growth and reproductive rates, making it difficult for their populations to bounce back from big losses. The votes at sites were applauded by conservationists and biologists who say overfishing is by far the biggest pressure sharks face. For these species, a lot of the trade is largely unregulated and it's led to massive population declines, particularly for hammerheads and oceanic white tips, David Shipman, a shark biologist, told Lysians. Though shark populations all over the world have plummeted, scientists don't have great data on how bad the problem is since unregulated and illegal catches often go unreported. A study out earlier this month estimated that about 100 million sharks are killed each year but researchers said the real number of annual shark deaths could fall in a rather large range, between 63 million and 273 million. Schiffman was hopeful that more regulation will give scientists a better idea of the numbers. This will lead to additional data about the harvest of these species, which will allow us to make more informed management decisions in the future, Schiffman said. More data is always better for science. The U.S. delegation to CITES says it worked with other countries to help drum up support for shark-protecting proposals, including Brazil, Colombia, the European Union, Costa Rica, Honduras, Ecuador, Mexico, and Egypt. We are extremely pleased that CITES member nations have given greater protections to these commercially exploited marine species, Brian Arroyo, head of the U.S. delegation, said in a statement. Through the cooperation of the global community, we can begin addressing the threats posed by unsustainable global trade in shark fins and other parts and products of shark and ray species. The CITES Treaty is signed by 178 countries and a meeting is held every two to three years to review and negotiate changes to the international trade of species covered by the agreement. While sharks fared well during this year's meeting, another highly anticipated proposal to ban the trade of polar bear hides and parts was shot down.